Hello, you guys. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be looking into uh, seedlings. So I have uh, seeded these about five days ago. Uh, these are real f <laughs> overachievers. And these are Kentucky beans. And they're wonderful for eating fresh. And so you can eat them uh, in this as a string. Okay, then this is my squash. Not doing so great. I only see one and I've planted two per each square. Just to kind of, you know, if I have to, I'll pull an extra one out. I did the same with the cucumber. And some of them are coming out. Uh, for some reason, they also double and some of them didn't come out very well. Squash is really squashing it. <laughs> and then this is also, I have watermelon and melon. These, like, one melon is coming out and that's about it. Okay, and these are corn. These are popcorn corn. I'm trying to find a different type that I used to love in Russia and I'm hopeful that's the one, but I could be wrong. Then I have one more corn here and that one didn't come out. Then here I have basil. And here I have enchinatsia. Echinatsia, I don't know. It's this little flower. It's not really great too. Look, it's just a couple pieces and I've spread quite a few in in here. Okay, so corn needs to be planted pretty much as soon as possible because it's it's growing very fast as well. And again, that's been only five days. Okay. So as of right now, we're trying to figure out how we want uh, this kettle wire to stay in here. So this is the look that Daryl did so far. He did this kind of level planter and just a rough, uh, beautifully roughened <laughs> look. It's all mulch. We tried evening out this platform here and put some of the papers down for the shed when it arrives. And then my one raspberry bush and one blackberry bush are right here. I sure hope I didn't damage their roots. Okay. So both of these bushes are supposed to be quite large in size. That's why I gave them so much space. I am planning on planting something else there. Maybe even another bush of one of these. Okay, so my task right now is to lay back down our watering pipe. It has broken down in a few spaces, so I bought connectors uh, to kind of extend it. I'm going to create a new opening for my planters. So I'm going to run a new pipe from my planter, I'm sorry, from the main water pipe uh, to the planters. So that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting to plant some of these right now, not all of them. So by the way, this is our final look for our kettle wire planter. I spaced it out this way because I really wanted to have like a sitting area uh, when it's all covered up in here. And it's right next to Mila's play corner so she can kind of run right through and it's going to be super cute. So it's going to be slightly higher, so it's a little taller than me, so that I can just pick the, the vegetables from here. So I decided to also plant the one melon that I have, because I know they have pretty sensitive roots. Same thing with cucumbers. I looked under and the root is already coming through. That means that I have to plant it soon so I don't bother the root. And I have not too many expectations as this is my first time planting this type of vegetables. I usually only do tomatoes and strawberries and those are really hard to kill <laughs> in our area. They love it here, like literally. My other tomato, uh, the previous year, I stopped watering it in like October so it would just die off and I would just, you know, be done with it. But no, it produced fruit until basically January, until it got real, a lot of rain we got in like at the end of December and it just didn't like so much water and that was it for me. Gave me a tomatoes from from like last May up until again almost December so that was pretty crazy. 
Okay, so the key with these uh, biodegradable pots is to plant the vegetable with it so that you don't disrupt the root. And I think it's a pretty cool idea. Okay. So I'm just kind of going to move this out of the way, make a little hole, push that in. Can you guys see it? Okay. And just kind of, you have to um, make sure that the um, sides of these pots do not stick out from the ground um, because it can actually dry out the vegetable. And so they're like biodegradable, so they're gonna literally dissolve and the roots are strong enough to penetrate through them. This whole row is gonna be cucumbers, which I'm very excited about. Also a little worried about because I know just how fussy they can be. And, um, and sometimes I'm worried about too much sun in here, but we'll see. We'll see. Again, I'm just trying things out. I don't know if it's actually going to turn out. Oh, this guy's so deep in there. I'm just going to give him enough space here a little bit. So this guy, that's a good space right here. And maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll come back and maybe do a little bit of mulching on top after I'm done with the irrigation setup. So I transplanted the two of my existing tomatoes. So again, this is a heirloom tomato, so it's pretty char uh, pretty chunky, big pieces of tomato. So it's most likely going to be super stocky. And then this one is a cherry tomato. It's going to be multiple small pieces. They're usually quite skinny and they actually like to climb. So I'll kind of try training them up a bit more. And so this is my potato plant. <laughs> I have never planted potatoes before. I wanted just to try for the first time and I planted a whole uh, seeding potato um, probably about a month or maybe just over a month ago when our frost kind of stopped and this is what it looks like now. <laughs> so hopefully maybe I'll have a real potato. I know this is a little shallow, shallow pot but again about a month ago I didn't even know if we're gonna end up having um, this or not or if our gardeners are gonna help us with a lot of setup so I didn't know anything a month ago but I just wanted to start blending <laughs> so I figured I'll try in the pot if it works out I would love to see what happens next year maybe in the actual planter or something but look at our strawberries you guys we've been picking them every day so there's nothing fresh right now look how many just covered in, covered everything here oh, this one is ready I think is it maybe just one more day I'll let, I usually let Mila pick them because she's so excited to pick them I think this guy has to go I'll pick this one. Oh, my dirty hands perfect <laughs> super tasty look at these awesome strawberries they just spread themselves out in the circle I planted this bush it shoot a little um, whisker here last year and then the, these spread out already this spring our blueberries are coming along too as you can see they're gonna be super nice this one is really really tasty kind and I'm really excited to pick them too thank you for being here bye bye okay uh, so I also we wanted to plant some kind of a fruiting tree uh, in our yard so we're gonna be planting this pomegranate I've always wanted a pomegranate so I got this variety it's actually flowering and I'm super excited about it it's this 
angel red pomegranate so it should be maximum 10 by 10 it's kind of a vase shape and then it goes into a fountain shape when the fruit starts to kind of weigh down which is like ideal and very beautiful we have this super sunny spot between the heaven breath and this wild plum that started growing by itself and it's going to grow under this big tree this is the most sunniest spot we have next to the planters so we're thinking that planting it here will be pretty good size wise This is our dirt. It's basically usually rocks. And then there's a huge solid rock right here. It's like a wall, it seems like. And then it goes down in here. So we can't really plant anything over top, obviously. And there's no way we can break it up. And it looks like it's keep, it keeps going. Okay, so we'll keep trying, basically. <laughs> we'll see you later. Okay, after two hours of wasted time we were able to this poor pomegranate we had to raise the dirt a little bit off the ground and plant it higher just because there's literally a solid rock there's solid rock that goes along this whole area and then in other places there are roots from this tree that go on each side so it is planted now i'm happy it's been literally a waste of day that's it and that's that's our dirt that was the association with every single plant that's planted on this hill because it's been nothing before i'm sorry for my attitude it's just i'm really fed up with today and each plant of these is planted on a solid rock so because this is what this wall is this solid rock okay i'll talk to you later bye hello you guys so it's uh, mother's day weekend and a few more of my seedlings have popped up so I'm gonna plant a few of these but I don't know which ones which for sure because they look very the same so it might be a surprise for us later <laughs> it has been about just under a week since I've planted everything and everything is looking great tomatoes have taken off melon is doing fine squash cucumbers and corn our potatoes are growing strawberries are getting red our blackberries are nice and full so i'm excited and mila's corner is all ready too i'm gonna have a few um, fellow moms over tomorrow so we've set up a little bit outside a sitting area and try to make sure that this is going to be ready for the kiddos tomorrow so that's very exciting. I do have to say our yard is definitely starting to shape up. I still have to uh, put this one all around and then plant many few more things in here and take some things out from there. And then my next project is planting all of these. Uh, it's a good mix of roses that I completely fell in love with, especially this yellow one. It smells, I can't even it's just so intense it's like one of the most pleasant rose smelling smell smelling roses ever i love this one too it's a gardener lady or lady gardener i believe also beautiful beautiful rose nice apricot shade flower very very delicate smell too very beautiful and this is iceberg they grow very well in our uh, communities around us I see them all the time everywhere so I figured it's gonna look good in here too so my plan is my plan is to plant them along here somewhere and do a different a few breaks in between but that's gonna be another video these are wonderful these are called hot lips and it's uh, sage uh, local native sage California lilac more hot lips more sage more lilac uh, I think this is cosmic petunia Mila picked this one it's beautiful and some of the ground covers for my hillside thank you so much you guys for watching I'm gonna go plant a few more seedlings and I'll say I'll say to you bye bye at this time
Thank you so much again.